Hey, hey, girls and guys, welcome to another amazing math problem taken from real life. My name is Magda, I'm a mathematician from Germany and the problem I brought today for you is a geometric problem that's both easy to understand and hard to solve. Let's dive into it. As you can see, we have two images and both images are showing the same car and the same boxes. The image on the left is showing the big box on the rooftop of the car and the smaller box right in front of it. The image on the right side is doing exactly the opposite. The small box is on top of the roof of the car and the big box is right in front of it. And then you can see two numbers two lengths. The first one is 5 meters, the second is 7 meters. And this is the only information you got in order to calculate the length of the car. Just take your time, stop the video, think about it and try to calculate this length. If you don't succeed, don't worry, I have a good solution for you, which I'm going to show you very soon. And this solution, indeed, does not calculate at all. Just a very little tiny bit at the end, but mostly we are going to use a very clever trick. So the trick is that we are going to take the images, the one on the left side twice, the one on the right side once and we're going to arrange them in this way. By drawing them one below another and by creating a certain overlap of the images. You will be soon able to solve the problem easily. How? Just take a look at this part, this section of our image. We will have a length of 5 plus 7 meters, so 12 meters here. And if you look closely, these 12 meters include one car here, and then the front part of the car here, but this part unfortunately is outside of the sector. But it's the part of the car with the big box. And this is exactly what we can see here. So we will just forget about this part of our image and we will imagine to take this part here and find it again inside of our sector. So let's wipe out this part here as well. And then you will realize that in our 12 meter sector there are now exactly two cars, which means that two times the car will equal 12 meters, so one times the car will equal 6 meters. And this obviously was super easy to calculate, as the most work was just done by a smart rearrangement of the images. So the length of the car, easy peasy, equals 6 meters. For another tricky math question, check out this video. And if you didn't do so yet, I would be super glad if you would subscribe to my channel. Bye bye, see you soon and enjoy calculating.